Judges at the South Jakarta Municipal Court have sentenced five janitors accused of sexually abusing students at the Jakarta International School to seven and eight years jail. Four of the defendants received eight-year sentences and the sole female defendant was handed a seven-year jail term. The defendants are accused of sexually abusing young students at the Jakarta International School 13 times between December 2013 and March this year. The five were working for an outsourced cleaning service at the school. The first to be sentenced was Afriska Satyani, the only woman among the five who were all being tried separately. The judges handed Afriska a seven-year jail sentence and a fine of 100 million rupiah or three more months in jail. Her lawyer says they will appeal. The defendant and her family have refused to accept the outcome, some family members crying when the verdict was read out. In the second verdict, judges at another trial in the same court sentenced Virgia Wan Amin to eight years in jail and a fine of 100 million rupiah. The defendant and his lawyers also say they'll appeal the verdict. Patra M. Zen, the lawyer of the defendant, says that the panel of judges ignored the testimony of the expert witnesses. Patra says he'll form an independent team to conduct a repeat autopsy on the body of Azwar, another defendant in the case, who had died while in Jakarta police detention police say he committed suicide. In earlier hearings, defence lawyers expressed suspicion there'd been violence behind Aswar's death. Nah, kalau teman-teman tadi dengar sendiri, ya, ternyata apa yang kami ajukan, ahli-ahli, ya, ahli mikrobiologi, ahli forensik, ya, itu sama sekali tidak dipertimbangkan. Nah, oleh karenanya, ya, kami tentu akan mengajukan banding. Ya, jika belum mendapat keadilan di tingkat pertama, tentu kami harapkan di tingkat kedua atau pengadilan tinggi, ya kami bisa mendapatkan keadilan. Other panels of judges later sentenced three other defendants, Sharial, Zainal Abedin and Agun, to eight years in jail and fines of 100 million rupiah each. Lawyers of all three defendants say they'll appeal. The sentences were lighter than the 10 years jail sought by prosecutors.